What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and we're doing Leo. So first up, this guy's English name is Leo. In the Japanese, he's known as Lua. He's aged during the Fortune Cup, he's 11 during the WRGP, he's 12. In Team 5Ds Future, he's 13. And in the final time skip, he is 21. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds Episode 12, The Take Back Part 2. And here is his winter loss ratio and here is his dual score so there you go so a quick gist on the character known in the english as leo which was short for leonard he is the twin brother of luna and was eventually one of the signers who possessed the heart mark of the dragon he and luna both help and support yusei due to how much they admire him Leo is the older of the two twins and has a lively and childish personality. Kazuki Takahashi has revealed the Japanese names of the twins to be Rua and Ruka. However, when the names appeared wrote out in the Japanese anime, they were Lua and Luka. The differing names are due to the fact that Japanese speakers have a tendency to pronounce L's and R's as the same sound. When he dueled Hayley in the Japanese anime, his name was spelled Rua. When the twins dueled Lester, their names were spelled Lua and Luca. Fun fact, the 4Kids Entertainment website initially listed the twins in the characters section. Here, Lua has his name changed to Luca, while Luca has her name changed to Luna. However, once realised, the mistake had been removed from the website. So, Leo has bluey green hair which is pulled into a single high ponytail with two shoulder length bangs on both sides of his face. When he doesn't wear his hair up, it actually kind of looks like Luna's. So you can see how they can like kind of swap places just like in Sister Act, but you know, one of them's a boy. Leo's outfit is similar to his sister's. It consists of a short sleeved white jacket over a sleeveless blue shirt with golden markings that differ from Luna's. Leo also has a bracelet on each wrist. As well, he carries a dual disc with a blue and white trim on his left arm, which was originally far too big to fit his wrist until Yusei modified it to him. Leo is a lively character. In the dub, he's very carefree and acts kind of dumbly, but he's shown to get serious when the situation calls for it. Occasionally he will doubt his skills, but his sister Luna always looks towards him for encouragement. He started off cocky and sure of himself, but became more mature and careful as the series progressed. He's also shown to be very perceptive in season 2, as he immediately felt something was not right about Lester even though he had not acted suspicious at all just yet. Although he seems ordinary at first glance, Leo has some sort of hidden ability in which he can somehow talk to Luna even if she's in the spirit world. He was able to awake her as well from her coma when she was 3 years old. And he can also get into the spirit world if Luna repeatedly calls out to him while she's there. This was seen during the duel with Professor Frank. So a bit of backstory on the character, Leo lives together with Luna in the Topps residential area. They spend most of their time alone together as their parents are usually at work. They are educated via the internet, so they spend most of their time inside. Later, both he and his sister attend Dual Academy. About half a year after the battle with Zone, the twins receive a letter from their parents. In it, they tell them that they want to live together, but for that to happen, they may have to leave New Domino City. Leo and his sister are unable to decide what to do because they want to stay with the gang. Ultimately though, they decide to go with their parents. Years later, Leo has a dual runner of his own, which he uses to transport his sister to school. When Crow left his team in the Shingon League to challenge Jack in Ride Ace, he recommended Leo to his team as his replacement. Thus, he was able to become a pro riding duelist. So, Leo uses a Morphotronic deck, and one of Leo's primary tactics is to use his Magna Lock combination using two copies of Morphotronic Magnum to prevent his opponent from declaring attack. He then uses cards such as Morphotronic Datatron to inflict effect damage. However, under the advice of Yusei, Leo stops relying on this combination and later develops several other strategies, such as utilizing Gadget Hauler to inflict large amounts of damage. Leo later acquires Power Tool Dragon, and with it, an array of equipped spell cards to enhance his abilities primarily with Double Tool C and D, and Break Draw. Leo also uses several cards to regain life points such as Power Converter and Damage Eraser. During his duel with Aporia, Leo also acquires Life Stream Dragon. 
And with that, guys, that's another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Is favoriting even a thing still? Just do it anyway, you might as well. Let me know who you want to see next week, and thanks a lot for watching.